Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here today with a special episode. And that is, how do you shuffle your cards? I went out and someone I like to watch bought a bought one of these. And uh, this is it right here. Notice it came prime. Thank you for just sending it like that. And he said, oh, yeah, this is really good. I'm kind of like, hmm, I wonder how good it really is. And so I decided, well, let's compare it to this. So I went to my local big Starburst store, and I bought this. And I decided we're going to buy some cards because I'm not going to run my real cards through this. I want nothing to do with this. I already have the batteries in this. Now a couple of comments about this video. I am going to basically go through, there's going to be minimal edits, except for when I have to put card sets back together, and when I have to edit out a cough or a sniffle, because it's allergy season. And one of the questions I had asked was, well, how good does this do with, shuff with shuffling? And can you use sleeved cards? These are my D&D board game system cards. Um, I'm using these because I actually have duplicates of all of these. And that's why I'm going to be using this. So the question is, what is the best way to shuffle cards? And the answer might surprise you. Because it's not an overhand shuffle. An overhand shuffle is the worst way to do it. A bridge shuffle is also bad. It's okay, but you have to do it at least seven times. We're going to take out the Joker. So we have a fresh deck of cards. I like these. These are pretty good. These are only a buck. So the nice thing about using these cards is that they are uh, using a standard deck of cards is that, you know, you have blacks and reds and you can tell the difference. So the best way to do it, and you've probably seen this on television a few times, is you take the deck and you start mixing. And you mix this set of cards like this for about a minute and that will give you the best shuffle that you can basically get. Uh, keep in mind there are more card combinations than there are stars in the sky. I forget what the number is but it's, a, it's an incredible amount of differing Potential kinds of uh, combinations. Because, of course, you know, you have Ace of Hearts and then you have the Two of Hearts and you put the Three of Hearts instead, that's one combination. So, lots and lots of different combinations. It is just an I'll put that number up on the screen. It'll be in scientific notation for obvious reasons. Okay, so this should be pretty well done. I'm not worried about because we're not hiding cards. So I'm not worried about showing. And we're just going to pick them up. So this should be fairly well shuffled. And this looks, okay, there's two cards that are kind of interesting. Three that are kind of close together. But nothing else really all too, uh, six, nine, and a jack. But this is supposed to be the best way to do it. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break and I'm going to put the cards back together.
Okay, so we're back. And, okay, so we are back. And one of the, I had a really good hand of solitaire, which I found really kind of interesting. So what we're going to first of all do is we're going to go on ahead and we're going to see your typical bridge shuffle. We are going to go right to the halfway mark. Not a very good shuffling. They fall really quick. That's four. Here's five. So let's see what we have. That's actually not too bad of a shuffle. That's kind of interesting. Okay, that's five. Six. And seven. Yeah, okay, now I've gotten loosened up a little bit. So we're going ahead and take a look. That's a fairly decent shuffle. That's actually a really good shuffle. Nothing too weird. Still there, that's interesting. That's also interesting. So that's that's our shuffle. So no, a seven shuffle from a typical bridge kind of stuff, which you do with your magic cards to just drive people crazy. Gives you a good shuffle. So anything above seven is probably going to be even better. And I'm going to go on ahead and play solitaire again. Okay, so that was a much worse uh, solitaire hand than the prior one, and it took a long time to do. So now the question becomes, so we know that the shuffling works, and I'm just, you're going to have to take my word, that overhand shuffling like this is just not going to work. Um, the people I've read have said basically you need nearly an infinite amount of overhand shuffles to get a good mix. Um, and that's probably true with 52 cards. With 7 to 10 cards, that's probably a whole lot less. And hence why I do stuff like this when I have just a number of cards, and I'll do stuff like that. And so the question is, how well does a shuffler work? So we're going to do this one first. This is the Walmart version. And we're going to just go on ahead and put them in here. And I'm not too sure what we do because this is the very first time using this. So let's hope it actually works. Okay, so we're going to see that we did have a problem, especially at the end. Kind of an interesting mix. And of course we then have this, which is going to be obviously a horrible mix.
So I'm going to take up about half, and we're going to do this one more time. Okay, obviously you have to... Okay, I don't see any of the problems that people complain about. Getting there, still has a long way to go, but that was only two. I'm going to hold the fingers in on the side. Okay, that was interesting. So again, tops are Interesting. Bottom card is still the Ace of Spades. So I don't know how you're going to get rid of the Ace of Spades on the bottom. Oh, actually I do. Okay. Number three. I think I'm doing the problem there. Okay, so we've got some areas that are red, blues, red, blues. Number four. That was much better. I did a much lighter touch on it. Okay, let's take a look at this side. Too bad. Oh, we got rid of the ace of spades off of the bottom. That's kind of interesting. It's fourth card. There we go. That's about right. Number five. Getting better. Getting a little bit better. Number six. And we're just going to go right to number seven. Okay, so now the cards should no, like the operative word there, they should be fully mixed at this point. Ah, that doesn't look very good. And nor does that look very good. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Um, kind of interesting. Let's try one more. I don't know that we're going to get much better than what we have. Yeah, I don't think so. So we're going to set this to the side, and we're going to bring out the hand crank. And again, we're going to do the reversal of fortune. So red's on top, red's on bottom, and we just crank it. That was pretty good. Let's see what it looks like. That is actually not too bad for the first time around. But of course we're going to have a lot of stuff close to each other. Okay.
I like how it deals with the cards a little bit better, but it also seems to catch more cards at one time. Okay, kind of interesting. <laughs> wow, all the aces on three aces on the bottom. But we have a king and a queen pretty close together. Okay, let's try it one more time. That was only two. This is number three. We're going to go right to number four. I have to say, I like hand cranking this a little bit better. Okay, so this crank was not a good crank. The cards got really messed up. So that was only 3.5. But let's take a look at 3.5. Okay, still lots of stuff together. Aces have been divided up a little bit better. There we go. This was technically five, but we're going to go with four. Getting to be a much better sort. I'm actually thinking this is going to win hands down. I believe this is the last one, seven. Both gave pretty good sorts after seven attempts. I remember um, using one of these, a really old one that would definitely trash cards. First of all, I don't see anywhere where cards have been trashed. Now, they've only gone through seven times, so who knows? Let's take a look at the other sides. That's a reasonable distribution. That is definitely a reasonable distribution. Ah. This is an okay distribution. Just kind of looking at it. Lots of sets of threes. Lots of sets of threes. So not as good of a distribution as... The hand crank. So I find that interesting. So the, so the next question is, how can they do sleeve cards? Because it's pointless if it can't. And it looks like the answer is mostly yes. That could be these cards are kind of messed up. They actually haven't been played in a while. Uh, 
Okay, let's try that again. Interesting. Okay, and this scares me. This really scares me. Okay, they fit. So the answer is yes. Sleeve cards can go. I don't know how many cards I have in this, by the way. So because they are not measured out A through King, all we can look at is this side. And yes, the ones that are cut versus not cut uh, are from different sets. I like the game. What can I say? So that's actually a reasonable first go at it. Uh, also, they feel much... Thicker. I just put more onto the left side than the right side. So after two, that's actually pretty decent. Okay, let's put these back together. I'm going to put these back together in color order. So as you saw, that is actually a pretty decent distribution. It's not great. Uh, but it was only through three times. And so here we go again. Only two got caught on the end that time. Not a bad distribution. Nah. Uh, I'm less cure I'm less stringent on this distribution because it would be well because if they've got the monsters. It is a little bit harder to wind. You do have two winding things, which is kind of nice. So, okay, now the cards look beat up. Oh, it's this set that is more. These don't look beat up at all. Now, it could, you know, if you run these through a thousand times, I'm not going to do that here today. You're probably going to run into some problems. But these will be in the links below if you want to order them. Yes, of course, I get a commission off of it. It's not enough to keep the channel going. Okay, but, I realized I forgot to do a conclusion. And the conclusion is pretty simple. I don't know that I would really use either of them. And if I'm going to choose between the two of them, the Amazon one wins. Hands down, yes, I don't like the sticker. I hate the sticker. I'll, if I keep it, I'll put a Star Wars sticker on it of some sorts. I find it to have a much better distribution. When I sorted the cards back out, it was a much much better distribution than the mechanical than the the battery operated one that said 
you are still going to have to run it through the machine seven times, minimum, to get a good distributed shuffle so that they are properly sorted. That's four. And I would also be cutting stuff in half, like that quarter by quarters. Now let's see our distribution. We got fours, we got a three, four. Interesting that the reds are more together. But it's just that the reds are together. They're, oh, what are these? Yeah, it's just that the reds are together. It's really seven times that you have to shuffle. And doing an overhand shuffle again, like I'm, I enjoy doing, you're going to have to do this thousands of times to get a reasonable distribution because so many cards go down at one time. And that is why I do stuff like this. So that way I don't have to shuffle and I get a good mix right off the bat. Again, seven times. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Come back later. Take a look at my other videos like one of those. And I hope that you have a fantastic day.